So cations are on the soil particles, on the soil organic matter, and, and they're just nutrients. They're ions, and they're holding on that clay particle, or sand is a low CEC, but it can still hold some. And so it's holding on to these things, and as the protons are released from the plant roots, they displace off of that particle and then go attracted like a magnet, remember, to that rhizospheric area around the plant root. So we see that this is real. We see how it works, but the problem is, is that we try to step in with the synthetics and we just um, push things the wrong way and we didn't realize that we were destroying the system at work and locking up the system at work with, our, with the way that we were doing it. So if you have low CEC, what should you do? Well, very clearly, you should be adding organic matter, biochar. You should be doing everything you can to bring in more biology. So compost, EM, all the IMO preps. And, in, and by doing this and, and having healthy plants come in, you're gonna be bringing in more soil organic matter, attaching it properly to those clay particles, then expanding upon the soil organic matter that is already there. And that will allow for more areas for nutrients to attach. So you can actually hold even more nutrients than they think is possible or good or right, and may even look toxic, um, but they're not up taking to your plant at toxic levels. If we can get our soil right, we can grow amazing food, raise amazing animals. We skip the pests, the diseases, the viruses, and soil damage. We instead focus on making things better and better. So our food, yields, and nutrition continue to improve exponentially with every single season. Learn to understand soil from the micro to the macro, down to the individual microbes, ions, and enzymes, and how they directly relate to hands-on action and pragmatic strategies for our farms, fields, and gardens. We can grow food faster with higher yields and nutritional density, but it all comes down and comes back to your soil. Is it resilient? Is it regenerative. Join us this September 5th and change the way you see the world, food, soils, and everything and how it relates. I'm Matt Powers. Grow abundantly, learn daily, and live regeneratively. And click that link. Join us this season. Don't miss out.